You can't just take all the intrusive thoughts away and just leave your brain empty, guys. It'll just suck back in a whole lot of old thoughts. You have to create new ones. Are you creating new ones? Do you even know what new ones to create? Most of you don't. And then those intrusive thoughts will create more of your reality. Then you look out here and see more shit going on in your reality you don't like, like the third party sticking around. Then you'll wonder why. Because you've let your brain run you this entire fucking time and you haven't taken a handle on it and you haven't uncovered what it is you're fucking thinking in your subconscious mind and you haven't reprogrammed it. And then you come on here asking question after question, the same fucking question all the time, saying it hasn't changed. And I'm like, no shit. No shit, it hasn't changed. You haven't changed. So guys, I'd never really heard the expression intrusive thoughts until I joined TikTok. And then I saw it everywhere. I'd never really heard that expression much, not in psychology, nothing really. And a lot of you use it. And it's like a really flawed way of describing what's happening in your brain because they're not intruding on your brain. All you're doing is noticing more negative thoughts and positive ones. And you're saying intrusion. They're not intruding at all. Mm. Something stuck on my face. They're not intruding on you at all. So if you have trouble with intrusive thoughts, this is the video for you because you're actually not understanding the process of what's going on in your mind and you think it's intruding on your mind, this thinking, it's not at all. So let me just explain why you're saying that and what you're doing wrong that's causing it and what you're doing wrong that's perpetuating it because you're focusing on it. So what you focus on grows. And when you guys notice negative thoughts, thoughts you don't want to have, you call it intrusive thinking. Like it's an intruder who walked into your house and is taking your whole family hostage and tying you up and, and robbing your house. Is that what your thoughts are doing? Intruding? Like some unwanted thing. It's unwanted. It's intruded. That's how you guys are describing it. Even though you are the one producing those thoughts. You're your own intruder. You've intruded into your own house and tied your own family up and robbed your own fucking house with your own thinking. And you guys are blaming this intruder, it's intruding. You've got to stop thinking of your thoughts as something outside of you guys. They all came from your subconscious mind. It's Elvis is in the building. You're doing it. Stop describing what's happening in your mind as something like out of your control. It's beyond my control. This, this, these thoughts are intruding upon me. No, bitch. It's called your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is trying to keep you safe. So what it's doing is it's reminding you constantly of all the fearful thoughts it holds onto to keep you safe because it's so afraid you're going to be hurt or abandoned or rejected or whatever. Oh, so I'm doing it. So there's nothing intruding on my mind. I'm literally the cause of these thoughts. Yes, bitch. What do you think? Something's coming in and planting thoughts in your mind all day. When you guys describe thoughts like that, it like astounds me that you guys are so fucking lost about this process. I know a lot of you have been watching manifestation coaches as if for a long time, because I did too, as if something outside of you is causing things. The universe, the vortex, this or something better, it decides. The universe has your back. The universe will decide. It's If it's meant to be, it'll be. All this fucking bullshit you guys learned early on. Hopefully, you guys have had half a fucking clue watching me for long enough and listening to Neville and watching other coaches who teach the law of assumption, which is how your brain actually works, and understood that everything's happening within you. It's all from inside the building. Elvis never left. Elvis ain't out there intruding on your fucking mind. Stop describing what's happening to you like that because that doesn't take ownership of what you're doing. You're blaming something outside of you. Your thoughts are intruding. You've got no control. I can't have any control over my mind. Oh, yes, you fucking do. Stop blaming your mind for what's going on. Those of you who are doing that are being victims of your mind. <laughs> like a victim tied up in the house and intruders come in. I'm a victim of my own thoughts. And you're not going to be able to change anything when you're being a victim. Victimhood is what keeps you stuck. Victimhood is what keeps you thinking the old thoughts that are keeping the old reality in place. And you guys are describing it that way. And then you're surprised it's not changing. Because you are a fucking victim of your own reality that you fucking caused with your own subconscious thoughts. Now... The problem is most of you don't know what those subconscious thoughts are because that's the point of subconscious thought. It's meant to just run you and you're not meant to know what it is. That's the point. That's why it's called subconscious, unconscious, hidden. That's what it means. 
So if you haven't done my self-concept course or you haven't done my Worthy as Fuck for Love course or you haven't watched enough of my videos, most of you won't have a fucking clue what your subconscious thoughts really are. So you'll be doing affirmations that you've heard on some dickhead's video saying, what's meant for me will be for me or I'm limitless or I'm in the new state. You're going bing and you're thinking, I'm doing this affirmation. I'm loved. He loves me. And meanwhile, all this is running the show. And then you see it as intrusive thoughts. But really, this was running the show the whole time and causing what happened that you're trying to affirm against. So you had a breakup. And now you're trying to affirm that he loves you and you're limitless and you're the chosen one. But you're not understanding that back here, all the thoughts that you once had about yourself caused your SP to leave you because you've got a dominant story you get left because your dad left you and you feel you get abandoned and you feel not good enough. And then they can't do anything but reflect that. So you're doing all this bullshit up front and then you're calling this stuff intrusive. It's not intrusive. It's what's happening all the time that you need to change. That's why I'm called subconscious laws. Why do you think I'm called that? I'm trying to teach you what's happening back here. And most of you don't have a fucking clue. And that's why you're very fucking lost and saying things like, could you do a video about intrusive thought? What do you mean intrusive thought? It's your thought that's running you all day, whether negative or positive. You're just noticing more of it and calling it intrusive because it's thoughts you don't want to have. Oh, so I'm not having any more thought that's bad. I'm just noticing the bad thought. Well, you're having the same amount of thoughts all day, 70,000, but the majority of them, yes, are probably negative and you're calling them intrusive as if you've got no control over them. Yes, you fucking do. But most of you haven't been taught correctly how to take control of them and you're doing a whole lot of bullshit techniques that aren't taking control of them because you haven't actually been listening to anyone who's uncovered for you what those thoughts actually fucking are. So you're doing bullshit, bullshit, bullshit technique Trying not to hear these thoughts, even though they're running you, you're treating them as intrusive because you haven't uncovered them. And then you're just, everything's beyond your control still. And you're trying to control up here, your conscious thinking, while meanwhile, your subconscious thinking is running the show like it always did and causing your reality like it always did. And you won't be able to change your reality because you're not understanding the process. If you can understand that this is running the show and this caused what's happening to you right now and caused what happened before, then don't you need to change it? And you guys are all up here changing up here. I am loved. I am chosen. I am limitless. Now, you can say you're chosen. You can say you're limitless, blah, blah, blah. But do you know why you feel not limitless? Do you know why you feel not chosen? Do you know why you feel not loved? Most of you don't. Do you know what other thoughts are going on back here that make you fight with yourself every time you say, I am loved? It goes, no, you're not. Remember your dad left and he didn't love you. So why would this guy love you? He's just treating you exactly like your dad. You're not loved. You're the most unlovable girl on the planet. Why are you saying that? I'm warning you. You're you're going to get hurt because no one actually loves you. Can't you see the evidence in your 3D that no one loves you? He left you. See, ta-da, we're right. And you're going, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm loved. <laughs> what's, this, what's this thought back here that I'm not loved? That's what you need to change, guys. It's not intrusive. It's called your subconscious mind. All it's trying to do is protect you and keep you as the you it thinks you are. So using the example of your dad leaving and you feeling unlovable and unchosen and like someone will always leave, then whenever you're in a relationship, it's going to look for evidence that this guy is going to leave. Then you're going to find evidence with your reticular activating system that he's going to leave. Then you'll cause a fight or he'll get triggered by you doing some bullshit, bullshit, like searching his phone or searching on his social media for cheating or some fucking bullshit, right? Then he'll leave and then all your thoughts will be confirmed, all your fears back here, your intrusive thoughts will be confirmed and you'll be like, oh my God, I knew he was going to leave me. But actually you manifested him leaving with all your thoughts because he had no choice but to outpicture what you were dominantly thinking and what you were dominantly thinking the whole time and fearing the whole time was he will leave, any minute he'll leave, let's look for evidence that he'll leave because you're a person who gets left. Then you spend all this time focusing on changing the other person, changing your specific person, manifesting them back. And guys, I'm going to have a course soon called Back and Begging in the squad. It's the next course. It's going to go for two months in the squad. And I will teach you every fucking thing you're doing wrong about manifesting back a specific person because most of you are doing this wrong. I did it wrong. That's why I started this account. Most of you are doing all the wrong things and you haven't understood how to actually do this and you're lost as hell and then you're saying things on people's videos like, how do I get rid of my intrusive thinking when it's the thinking that caused the breakup in the fucking first place? 
and you're not going to change that thinking until you know what it is. And most of you don't have a fucking clue. So if I were you, I would do back and begging hand in hand with my self-concept course or back and begging hand in hand with my Worthy as Fuck for Love course because this will teach you how to get them back and this will teach you all the thinking you're doing that's causing them not to come back, the bigger courses. This is just a focused course about just specifically manifesting them back and all the mistakes you're making. There aren't any thoughts that are more intrusive than others. You are in control of those thoughts, those thoughts, if only you would uncover what they were. Most of you don't know what they are. If you did the assessment in my self-concept course or the assessment, the larger love assessment in my Worthy as Fuck for Love course, you would know what they are, so you'd know what you need to change, and then they wouldn't intrude on your brain anymore. But most of you don't have a fucking clue. So are you going to uncover them, or are you going to be a victim of your own thinking? Because you're the one thinking it. Stop blaming your mind or something outside of you for intruding upon you when all your mind is trying to do is protect you, protect you from the childhood you had. It doesn't want to happen again. It doesn't want someone to leave you again. It doesn't want you to be rejected again. It doesn't want you to be hurt again if you're abused. It's trying to protect you and you're getting all shitty at it and calling intrusive, calling it intrusive. It's just trying to protect you guys. And I know it's really annoying, but when you understand this process that all it's trying to do is protect you from harm, you'll realise you've got to stop blaming everything else outside of you and take control of it, otherwise it will run you. So what can you do instead? Think differently. But do you know what to think differently? That's the problem here. I could give you a whole lot of affirmations. I don't let my fears run me. I'm in full control of the feelings I feel. I'm in control of my mind. I can give you all of those things. But do you know what the thoughts are? Most of you don't. So you can go and do my anti-anxiety meditation on my YouTube, Subconscious Laws. You can sit there and feel relaxed for the moment that you're doing the 11, 11 minutes of the meditation. You can use the affirmations at the end and you'll feel good for a while and you'll say those affirmations like, I don't let my mind run me. I'm in full control of the feelings I feel, which is wonderful. But unless you know what those thoughts are, you're kind of screwed. My self-concept course is only $145. In it is an assessment that will tell you point blank what those thoughts are, and then I give you affirmations to change them and tools to change it. If you guys can't fork out 145 bucks to do this, I don't know how to help you. It's like the cheapest in-depth course about self-concept anyone's brought out. Everyone's copied it since then. So if you've gone and bought some bitch's $800 course, just understand she's copied my $145 course. Do you know the amount of coaches I see buying my course every day? I see their name. I see their TikTok page name. If you guys are really serious about this, go and do that assessment. Now, it's not going to solve all your problems because once you do the assessment and you've uncovered what that thinking is, then you need to change it. And then in all my videos and in that course and in Worthy as Fuck by Love, I teach you how to change it. Most of you need to uncover them first though. And that's why I'm saying if you're really serious about this and you really do have intrusive thoughts all day, what you're not understanding is you haven't uncovered what they are. That's why they're bothering you so much. So if you can't stop thinking about the third party, if you can't stop thinking he doesn't love you, if you can't stop thinking why hasn't he left, why hasn't he come back yet, if you can't stop thinking this isn't working, if you can't stop thinking where is it, you need to uncover why you're thinking that. Because you can do all the bullshit, bullshit, I'm limitless, I'm in the state, bullshit all you like, and you won't be able to stay in the state. And you won't be able to believe you're limitless. And you won't be able to believe, even with my meditation, my thoughts don't run me because they're still fucking running you you haven't changed them. You haven't replaced the I get left thought with I don't get left. You haven't replaced the I am lovable, I am not lovable with the I am lovable thought. You haven't replaced it. Nature abhors a vacuum. You can't just take all the intrusive thoughts away and just leave your brain empty, guys. It'll just suck back in a whole lot of old thoughts. You have to create new ones. Are you creating new ones? Do you even know what new ones to create? Most of you don't. And then those intrusive thoughts will create more of your reality. Then you look out here and see more shit going on in your reality you don't like, like the third party sticking around. Then you'll wonder why, because you've let your brain run you this entire fucking time and you haven't taken a handle on it and you haven't uncovered what it is you're fucking thinking in your subconscious mind and you haven't reprogrammed it. And then you come on here asking question after question, the same fucking question all the time, saying it hasn't changed. And I'm like, no shit. 
No, shit, it hasn't changed. You haven't changed. Oh, so this is a process of changing my dominant thinking and uncovering what it is first and then knowing what it is and then changing it and then being patient and persisting. What do you think manifest means? It means what's happening out here from your mind. It's all coming from you. Everything's from you. Elvis is in the building. Stop blaming the outside or your intrusive thoughts on what's happening. You're in control of them. Take control of them. Stop being a victim of your own fucking mind, please. If you aren't aware of what it is that you're doing wrong and you don't even know what I'm saying about take control of your mind, watch my previous video to this called A Disciplined Mind on YouTube. This is my recent one. And a lot of you don't know what you're doing with the 3D reality and reacting to the 3D reality that's causing your manifestation not to be here. And in this, I explain it. But go and watch the previous one about having a disciplined mind because most of you don't. And if you don't, you won't succeed. I'm sorry. You'll just manifest what you're currently thinking. That's how manifestation works. You manifest what you are, not what you want. A whole lot of you want something else, but you are here listening to all these intrusive thoughts and that's what you'll manifest. More third parties, more feeling fearful, more being not loved, more being left. Yes, you'll successfully manifest that. You'll have a very successful manifestation of what you don't want because that's what you are. You manifest what you are, not what you want. Are you changing who you are? Be honest. A lot of you don't even know what you're even thinking back there. And you don't get my self-concept course. All right, guys, I'm going back to the questions. Did that answer your question? Um, so how do we stop the thoughts, though? Did you listen to anything I just said? I just said to you, you have to figure out what the fuck they are. Do you even know what they are? Then when you know what they are, you change them. I just told you. I just want the magic bean. Can you just tell me how to stop them? No, I just fucking told you. Do you have a comprehension problem? I just said, replace them. You can't stop them. You can't just take them away. You can't just ask them to stop. Oh, could you stop being fearful and thinking all old thoughts that form the me I am? No, bitch, I'm trying to keep you safe. Until you replace me with other thoughts, these will keep a coming. There ain't no magic bean to fix this. Some of you are looking for the magic answer to this. You have been thinking those thoughts for a fucking long time. You think that you're just going to be able to stop them overnight? Oh, bing, stop them overnight. You're the kind of girl, aren't you, darling, who falls for the clickbait videos like how to stop your manifest how to stop intrusive thoughts overnight. Get your manifestation overnight. Get him back in two minutes. You fall for that shit, don't you? Because you're looking for the quick answer. How do I stop them? You can stop them, but you must replace them. That's the only way they stop. They can't stop all by themselves. Some of you don't get this and then you're fucking lost and then you're wondering why nothing's changed. And I'm like, did you know what the thoughts were you needed to change? Oh, no, I was just saying a whole lot of bullshit I heard on a video. Oh, my God. What? Hi, Loz. My trainer today looked at me and said, you are good enough. She repeated my thoughts. Oh! this is it true we shouldn't depending on getting readings if we're manifesting all they're doing is reflecting your thinking darling so if you're depending on anything outside of you and you're trying to manifest a different reality fuck yes because you first of all haven't fundamentally understood that you're manifesting all the time you're actually manifesting what the tarot reader says and secondly you're depending on things outside of you to give you answers when you're being reflected you haven't understood fundamentally what manifestation even is if you're going to a tarot reader in the first place and getting a reading and depending on them. If you're depending on anything outside of you, darling, you need to go right back to my YouTube and watch the why, um, How to Manifest playlist. Then you need to watch this entire playlist called Why It's Not Manifesting because you're fucking confused as hell if you're depending on anything outside of you because all that tarot reader can do is reflect your inner, most hidden subconscious thought. Then you'll read it and think, oh my God, this is going to happen. And all they're doing is reflecting you because you didn't understand this. You're glowing today. Oh, thank you, darling. Yep, same with overthinking. You're just noticing the negative story in your mind. Guys, there's no such thing as overthinking. You can't suddenly think more thoughts in a day. You're just noticing the negative ones, right? It's exactly the same as intrusive thoughts, overthinking. It's the fucking same thing. If you talk to any good psychologist, they'll tell you there's no such thing as overthinking if they're not an idiot, and a lot of them are morons. I've dealt with enough coaching now to realize that, especially in America, you guys are going to 
moronic psychologists who don't even understand the concept of the fact that overthinking actually isn't a fundamental thing, doesn't exist. And then you guys go, I'm overthinking. My psychologist says I'm overthinking. Is your psychologist a bit dumb? Are they a bit slow? Did they fail at Psych 101? <laughs> who are you going to? Mm. Hi, Pamela Darling. Hi, Zira. Do you recommend the book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind? Absolutely, by Joseph Murphy. Absolutely. Please read it. Um, yes, and all never got it. Yes. Loz, I would love to hear more about when you can fall into the LOA rabbit hole and simplifying it more. What do you mean into the LOA rabbit hole? This is just your thinking, darling, we're changing. If you're falling into rabbit holes and watching every video under the sun and you're doing a whole lot of doing out here and not a whole lot of doing in here, I can't fucking help you. What do you mean the rabbit hole? What are you talking about? All we're doing is changing our thinking here. What rabbit hole are you talking about? There isn't a rabbit hole to fall into. It's called, I'm depending on every single video I watch and every single coach. I'm depending on this outside's going to change when I haven't changed me inside. I haven't done anything within. I'm clutching onto manifestation as a thing to do when I don't realise I'm doing it already. Is that what you're talking about? Jenna, what was that poll? I missed it. Self-concept is really a game changer. It's the holy grail. Focus on self-concept more than anything else. Guys, it's all there is. Guys, some of you talk about it like it's something separate from everything else. I love you, Danielle, but just let me explain. There is nothing else to change but your concept of yourself. That forms everything that's happening to you, for you, in your reality, the way people treat you, the way they show up, how they reflect you. It's everything. It's not something to do. It's the holy grail of what to do plus other things. No, no, there aren't any other things, <laughs> just so you know. There aren't any other things. This is it. Thank you, Jenna, darling. What did you um, put in the poll? I missed it. I hate that rabbit hole. I'm closing that hole. I don't even know what you guys are on about. What the fuck do you mean by rabbit hole? Please explain. Because it sounds like you're doing something really wrong. Oh, thank you, missionary for the gap. What do you mean, rabbit hole, guys? What the fuck are you on about? The book Psycho Cybernetics is great. Yes, guys, read that. Hi, Lester. How are you, darling? He goes to me. Well, probably because you had some real shitty thoughts about I've done something wrong or he doesn't want me or he doesn't love me or he wants that other girl or I shouldn't have sent that text or some fucking bullshit. Go and watch every single video I've ever done about ghosting, darling, and uncover what the thoughts you were having before they ghosted you and change those. It's been on my wish list on Amazon for a while. I'll definitely get it. Oh, good. Um, 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 um. Oh, thank you, Sarah. What does seeing repeated angel numbers mean? It means you're looking for signs outside of you because you're not understanding you're the power and you've been watching absolute fuckwits. All it means is your reticular activating system really, really cares about numbers that are repeating because you think it means something and it doesn't mean anything, but you'd like it to mean something. That's what it means. Poll about doing self-concept course and fuck the 3D and join the squad. Ah, oh, is that what the poll was about? What's the best practice to manifest multiple things at once? Health, money, SP. We'll just be in the state of having it all, but then you've also got to think, okay, but what's stopping me from thinking I can have the SP? What's stopping me from thinking I can have money? You can just say blanket affirmations like, I'm the woman who has it all. It really won't do much, right? Like how lazy are you, twin flame inner alchemy coach? Like you can't affirm for a few things. You can't have a few imaginary scenes. You just want one thing, do you? Like you can do blanket things, guys, but it's like throwing a blanket over the bed, but you've left all your clothes underneath it when someone's come over and it's just blanketing shit. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the hand hearts, just Tanya. Working on your self-concept, yes. Decided to move on from SP1. Within the next few days, he called and invited me to LA. All expenses. Oh, Angel, I love it. Tips to move more in the present moment instead of the past. Guys, live in the present moment. Live in the now in your mind. Stop looking out here. Stop focusing on the past. As soon as you focus on the past, have the new thought about the new now, what you're doing now, where you are now, where you'd like to be now. Imagine you are there now. Guys, the rain outside, this weather is so bad. This is a good, I'm naming my subconscious laws now. What, what? I'm naming my subconscious laws. Oh, you're naming your mind. Um, you're already manifesting many things at once, yes. Yes, visualize the scene, visualizing all of them. Yes, see yourself with the money and the SP in your new house, feeling healthy. <laughs> Do that. Do a visualization with all of them. That's a great idea, Dylan. They mean whatever you say they mean. You assign meaning to everything. Yes, guys. Hi, Loz. Can I live in the end at night with my SP if I'm in the second part of Make Them Obsessed? Yes, darling, absolutely. Guys, Make Them Obsessed is my mini course. Is it our belief that makes our manifestation come true? It's your belief that causes the manifestation in the first place, darling. You don't understand you're causing everything right now. What do you mean? You manifested what happened. You believed you weren't good enough. He treated you like you weren't enough. He left. You believe that. 
that caused that manifestation. Now you've got to change that thought to change what, hap what happened. You don't have to believe it just yet, but yes, your belief makes it so, but you don't have any control over when you believe it. Just think it a lot. I watch tons of videos, yours and others. I have no issue with self-concept. I know my worth, but the timing just delayed, and I don't know why, because you're focusing on the timing, because you're looking at the 3D. You need to go and do my Fuck the 3D course, darling, because it's not delayed. You're literally just looking at it and getting frustrated by it instead of living in your mind. So you can know your self-concept all you like and know your worth, and you're constantly focusing on out here. And whilst focusing on out here, you're literally telling your mind it's not here. So you're literally fucking on everything you just did. So when you're listening to me, are you actually listening kikis? You're not really, are you? You're looking for the magic bean. I'm doing my self-concept. I'm doing this thing called self-concept to bring up my self-worth. I'm waiting for it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, did you listen to the part where I say, don't keep looking for it? Because when you look for it and you focus on the time and you focus on the delay, you're actually telling your mind it's delayed and it's not here. So you'll literally fuck it up. Oh, when I listen to you, I don't really listen. Go and do fuck the 3D, darling. You're a bit lost. I say that with love because if you're focusing on the delay and focusing on the outside and focusing on the timing, you're literally screwing it up and then it's going to be continually screwed up and you'll do all this lovely work and you're screwing it up. Like I don't mean to scare you, some of you guys, but some of you are royally screwing this up by what you're doing when you're looking at the 3D, focusing on the 3D, focusing on the time, asking where is it, coming and asking and name questions over and over and over again in everyone's videos, in everyone's manifestation group. And you're doing all this lovely work and you're literally screwing it up by focusing on the 3D. That's why I did a course called Fuck the 3D. And the majority of people in the squad who did that course shocked the living shit out of themselves because they did the mental diet diary and realised what they were actually doing all fucking day. They realised their mental diet was in the fucking shitter and then they wondered why it was delayed. They're causing the delay. With their focus on the outside, their focus on the 3D, they're searching, their focus on the time, they're getting upset about the time and they're fucking it royally and then they wonder why it's not here. It's not here because of them. Go and do fuck the 3D. If your manifestation's taken an awful long time and you don't know why, that'll give you the answer why and you'll be like, oh my God, it's all me. I better fucking change this thinking. I better not stop. I better stop searching. I better not be looking at the 3D for answers. I better not be worried on the time. I better not be thinking about the time. I better not be looking at the 3D at all. I'm doing that. I'm the delay. I'm causing my own delay. I'm driving the FedEx truck and then I've got out of it and literally gone and laid down in front of it and then wondered why the FedEx truck won't travel to my destination. I'm lying in front of the fucking truck. My SP is pregnant from her current boyfriend. I feel like I've lost her forever. Please help. Darling, listen. If you've got a story that she doesn't want you, she'll go and get pregnant with someone else. Do you have a really strong story she doesn't want you? If you've got a really strong story she wants him, she can be pregnant to him and still come back to you, but you've got a story she wants him. See you and the baby and her together as a little family and him as like the baby daddy. But you can't at the moment because you obviously have a story that she wants him, don't you? Change that. Literally in the middle of all this at the moment, persist, 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 yes, guys. So what's the way to rewire our belief if affirmations aren't enough? Affirmations are just new thoughts, guys. They can be enough to get you in a new state. It just depends on you. Some people, affirmations are enough. Some people need to visualize. Some people script. Some people do whatever they do to change their dominant thought. I don't care what you do. You just need to get in a new state. And however you go about that is up to you. I can't tell you which technique will be best for you because they're not really techniques. They're just ways of changing your thinking. So if you don't know what the belief even is, Kay, you'll have a very hard time rewiring your brain because you don't even know what they are. See, a lot of you come in here and ask me for the magic technique. How do I do this? But you're not asking me, what do I need to change? Those of you who've watched me for a long time know how to phrase a question in here. You say, what is my dominant belief if this keeps happening? What do I need to change about me, Loz? You can tell the people who've watched me for long enough because that's how they phrase a question. When you're coming in here saying to me, how do I rewire my brain? I'm going... Have you watched me before? Have you really listened? The question should be, what am I thinking that's causing this? Like, tell me what's happening in the 3D or I keep thinking this about myself. How do I change that thing? I've uncovered it. Oh, I'm just asking generic questions about how to change, magically change my brain because I actually have no idea what I'm actually thinking. Well, then how are you going to rewire it when you don't know what the problem is? It's like going to a house and you're an electrician and I just say to the electrician, 
my electricity's gone off. And he goes, okay, where's the problem? I don't know. Okay, well, where's the wire that's the problem? Do you know where the short is in your system? I have no idea. You do it. Yeah, but I need to know what the problem is, what's been happening. I don't know. Just, can you just rewire my house? I can't help you. And the, the electrician's not going to have a clue what's going on. They're going to have to go around, test all the appliances. Is this shorting which one it is? And they're going to have to investigate and find the wire. Then they'll eventually find the wire and change it for you. But you didn't do any investigation of your own. You didn't go around and click on the cooker and flick on the light and which part of the fuse box was fusing going off. You just relied on something else. Here, you fix it. I can't fix this for you guys. Have you uncovered what you need to rewire? Probably not. That's the answer. That's why some of you really need to do the self-concept course assessment. Your dominant thoughts are what manifests. Yes, guys. Yes, fuck the 3D mental diet. Yes, kick ass you. Guys, if you just do a kick ass you, you'll uncover what the thoughts are. Then you'll know what to do. But some of you don't know what they are, unfortunately. And that's the whole problem here. As someone who has been manifesting SP for years, she is right. Oh, good, Mary, darling. What if SP came back but not changed because you haven't changed? What are you blaming them for? I woke up in the morning, Mirror, and you look really ugly. Bitch, you were hung over last night and you look like shit. I can only reflect you. It's your fucking fault. Oh. Why are you blaming your SP? You haven't changed. Guys, they won't change unless you do. Have you changed? Obviously not. You've been watching morons who say change them, haven't you, darling? And you've been focusing the whole time and wasting all your time on manifesting them back and trying to change them, haven't you, darling? Unfortunately, I did that. I listened to those fuckwits, okay? And those are the fuckwits who teach you that. And then those girls who then lose their SPs afterwards come running to me in my group and say, I lost them, why? And I say, this is why. Then they go, oh, shit, yeah, I was doing that the whole time. And I go, no shit, that's why they left. Fix it. They can only reflect you. Guys, I will have a course called Back and Begging in two weeks' time in the squad. If you're not in there, you're going to miss out on the ultimate Manifest Your Specific Person Back course because I'm going to teach you in there all the things you're fucking doing wrong, like trying to get them back and make them change. Most of you, 90% of you, have been taught this wrong. And that's why they haven't changed and that's why you're stuck. Your recent story on Instagram is gold, my dear. Oh, good, darling. Um... I've been manifesting for two years. I'm drained now. Listen to me, Ms. Jada, for real. Are you for real? You haven't listened to me for two fucking years. I've been on TikTok for two and a half years and I've never seen your face before and I've never seen your name. I bet you any money. You've never done any of my courses. You've never even done my free course called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong, have you? You haven't. So you're treating my live chat as if I'm teaching all the bullshit you once learned. I don't teach anything you learnt that you've been doing. Everything you've been doing for two years has been wrong. You know how I know that? Because of the way you just wrote, I'm drained now. What you've been doing is focusing on them, focusing on the 3D, focusing on the outside, and you haven't bothered to investigate what you were thinking that caused the problem and changed you. And that's why you're feeling drained because you've been listening to absolute A-grade fucking morons and you haven't been listening to me. I would recommend so you don't feel drained anymore and you actually get half a fucking clue what you're doing wrong because you've had two questions so far that make you sound like you are unbelievably lost and someone has led you down a garden path of such complete fucking confusion that now you're feeling drained and I feel fucking sorry for you, darling, because if you've wasted two years of your life doing a whole lot of bullshit, you've wasted two years. Please go and get why it's not manifest, uh, not why it's not manifesting, or watch this playlist called Why It's Not Manifesting on my YouTube for a start, but get my free course, darling, called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong because you're clearly doing it wrong if you feel drained. That's not the way to feel. Then you'll get on my newsletter. You'll get my Loz letter dropping tomorrow. It's a free newsletter. It's a Loz lesson every week and you'll start slowly learning what you're doing wrong. Then if you really want to get serious about this, get the self-concept course because you sound as lost as hell and I mean that in the nicest possible way because for you to come in here and whinge that you've been doing it for two years and say, I'm drained now, that means you've been doing it all wrong. You've probably been robotically affirming or focusing on your specific person or focusing on the outside and you've been doing every single solitary thing I would never teach a single solitary person to do and that's why it's not here. What if I'm manifesting my SP to return but he's being controlled by someone? You believe he's being controlled by someone so he is because that's your belief and you'll manifest what you believe. Please listen to me. Please go and watch all my videos. You sound very fucking lost. They will turn up the way you think they are 
So they are being controlled. Ta-da, you're manifesting that. Guys, some of you are so lost in here today. It's like if you've never watched me. And I'm I really appreciative if you knew. But if you're really new and you're saying things like they're being controlled or I'm drained or I don't know what I'm doing wrong or I've got intrusive thoughts, I fucking beg you to go first of all and get my free mini course. There's also another course called New Year, New You. And it's like a little mini self-concept task course that you can work on at the same time. Then I beg you to go over to my YouTube and watch my longer content because there's only so much you can get from a three minute video on TikTok. Go to my YouTube and start at the beginning and go to the How to Manifest playlist. Go to Law of Assumption versus Law of Attraction because some of you aren't even understanding what you dominantly assume, like he's being controlled by someone, is manifesting that reality. Some of you are very fucking lost in here today and I feel sorry for you because you've been listening to A-grade fuckwits. Then once you've watched that playlist, Choose a playlist on my YouTube that suits you. So if it's manifest a specific person, go and watch that. If it's getting underneath the skin of your self-concept, go and watch Ask Loz. That's probably the first one you should watch. And then if you're really stuck on manifestation, watch the Why It's Not Manifesting playlist that this video is in. They're my most recent videos, this playlist, Why It's Not Manifesting. Because some of you are clueless as fuck in here today and I feel really bad for you. Really bad. Because it sounds like you've been doing all the wrong things and you've literally wasted your time. This isn't hard, guys. This is an exercise in changing your dominant thinking. But first, you have to uncover what the fuck it is, your subconscious thinking. And most of you don't have a clue what it is. So you're doing a whole lot of techniques for two years and feeling drained and then wondering why it's not here. Because you're doing it wrong. Got it? How do we join the group? So guys, you can come and join my squad, which was my month, which is my monthly coaching group for $35 a month. You can cancel any time. You do that through my website, Subconscious Laws, through my link tree, or you can just come to the free group, Subconscious Laws. Go straight to Facebook, type in Subconscious Laws. It's a pink background. It says Subconscious Laws. There's like 13,000 people in there. Put your name, put your email, then you'll make sure you get on my newsletter, my free newsletter every week, the Laws Lesson. You'll get the newsletter dropping tomorrow and you'll come and join the free group. And inside the free group, there's a Q and A forum. There's also one in the squad and people will answer your questions in there and help you. Now in the squad, I also go live like this every Friday and answer your questions. I also do live coaching in there and you can watch me coaching people on video. And there's also the mini courses in there. So if you wanna get the current mini course, it's called Manifest All The Things. And there's also our founding course, Make Them Obsessed, which is always there then next month there's going to be back and begging. So if you're really desperate to manifest your specific, specific person back, come and join the squad now and you'll be in there for back and begging. Back and begging, okay? It's only 35 bucks, guys. I'm my link tree, the squad. Um, can I ask you, if I miss my SP, then is that because SP also misses me? No, it's because you're focusing on the outside and focusing on the lack and focusing on them not being here. It's got nothing to do with them. No, stop saying things like, when you, I miss them, they miss me. No, they fucking don't. They're probably not even thinking about you right now, darling. I don't mean to scare you, but if you dominantly change your thinking that's causing you to miss them, are you living in the end in your mind that you don't even feel like you need to miss them because you feel like they're here? If you're missing them, guys, it's okay to miss them. I don't want to scare you, but that means you're living in the past and you're not living in the end of being together. You're not dominantly changing your mind that you're together in your mind. That's what you need to do. So if you're missing them, you're not dominantly in living in the end. You're dominantly living in the past and that won't change. Nothing will change. Today is my birthday and I'm such a different person because of you still doing the work. Oh, wonderful, Ryan. Happy birthday, darling. Oh, happy birthday. Hooray. How can I stop the herd of SP betraying me as it's getting in the way of manifesting? No, no, darling, you manifested the betrayal. This is what people don't understand. If you've got a dominant assumption you'll get hurt and betrayed, they'll hurt and betray you and you'll have no control over it and they'll act that way. You manifested that. Stop blaming them for your reflection. It's like yelling at your mirror in the morning for your ugly hungover face. Please go and watch my videos. You're not understanding that. Go and watch every single video on trust issues and abuse or feeling like you're going to be hurt because you actually manifested that and now you're having a very hard time changing it because you're blaming them because you're not understanding. They all along were reflecting your story that you will hurt me and then he had no choice but to hurt and betray you and then he did and then you blamed him. All you need to do is change that thinking inside yourself that you're going to be hurt. But until you do, they'll continue to betray and hurt you and probably the next person will as well. Don't mean to scare you, but that's how this works. It's coming from you. Don't blame them. You made manifest from your mind your fears. Did you fear, I fear my fears have come upon me? You know that meaning in the Bible, that saying in the Bible? That's what it means. 
I fear my fears have come upon me. When you were with him the whole time, were you worried about other girls? Were you worried about being betrayed? Were you worried about being hurt subconsciously? I bet you were, and then he did, and now you're surprised. Go and watch all my content, darling. It'll help. Spitting gems. Oh, thank you, darling. How do we actively stop the thoughts? Daniela, when I'm talking, have you got a hearing problem? I just said to you, you have to uncover what they are first. Then I said, you need to change them. So whatever they are, you change them to the thought you'd rather think. Then you think that a lot and you stay in that state as much as you possibly can, as much as you possibly can in the daytime whilst you're living life. You can do sleep tapes, you can do guided meditations, you can rampage, you can do whatever you can do to change those thoughts. Can I manifest an SP that end things because of the age gap between us? What can I affirm? You can stop affirming that the age gap's a problem. You can stop thinking it's a problem. You can stop thinking you're not enough because you're older. Or whatever the fuck is going on in your mind that caused him to leave you, you had that thought first and then it came out of his mouth. Stop blaming him. Guys, when they say things like the age gap's a problem, you thought it was a problem, didn't you, Andrea? You're older than him, aren't you? And you've got a dominant story that he won't like it that you're older. So therefore, he said it. What came out of their mouth came out of your mind first. Go and watch my video about that on my TikTok. What came out of your, his mouth came out of your brain first. His, because you're not understanding, you once thought that subconsciously. You once feared it, didn't you, Andrea? Either he's, you're older than him or you're younger than him. Either way, you've got a story that that will be a problem. Therefore, they said it. So you've got to stop thinking it's a problem. That's what you're firm. It's not a problem. We're perfectly matched. Age doesn't matter. Right? All my SPs have got massive age gaps that I've ever had in my whole life. It's never made any difference to me. I've never had a story that's a problem. I try to tell myself my negative thoughts are a lie. Well, good, Jelly, but you've also got to change them. How can I stop the hurt? I saw that one. I'm in the process of ignoring someone in my reality to make them disappear, but people keep mentioning them because you're still focused on them by trying to ignore them, darling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, guys, you don't get that. By actively trying to ignore something, you're putting your focus on it. Why don't you just accept they're there? Oh, they're there. I'm changing you. I'm getting rid of you. By ignoring them, you're still focusing on them. Um... In my assessment, I am chosen was last on my list, but this is the one that I worry about the most. Did I do it wrong? No, darling, sometimes that self-concept assessment is very strong and sometimes you guys don't identify with the actual thought you're having because you think, oh, I don't really think that all day. But the one that's I am chosen um, are very strong thoughts and some of you don't identify straight away with them, but you don't realise you are actually thinking that, but it's just it was phrased very strongly. So... Don't worry about the assessment score. Just worry about what it is you're thinking. Write down what you're thinking and then change that, darling, if you're focusing too much on the assessment. Self-concept course is the cheapest key to life. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Lives have changed my life. Coming up on 10-month anniversary with SP. Hi, oh, Rose. Wonderful. All right. Love that. That's what the entire course teaches you. I can't even type a how-to in TikTok. Yes, guys. How can I stop the hurt? Oh, my God, if you keep repeating your question, I'm going to go mental. I've gone back over the self-concept course tonight. It's a game changer. Good, Shelley. Thank you. I had the biggest movement yesterday. Oh, did you, darling? Did self-concept course and worthy as fuck. Good, darling. Is manifestation real? Does it work? Darling, you manifested what happened now. You're manifesting all the time, darling. Go and watch all my videos. Go and get my free course. You're a bit lost. I've gone through the self-concept course at least three times. It's game changing. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, we all go where we are talking, taking laws courses, being in the squad and applying the content. Yes. Guys, look, if you go to the squad, that'll be the quickest way to get help because you can ask, ask your questions and the mentors can help you and the other group members who really know their stuff. That's only $35 a month. Then you'll get the manifest all the things course. It's already there. You go to the guide section, parts one to three are already there. You can do that course. You can do make them obsessed and then you can wait until back and begging comes out in two weeks. Loz is true. The least effort I put in, the faster it came in. Good, darling. Do nothing, as Neville says, except change thinking. Guys, Loz doesn't like you repeating questions in the chat. She'll get your questions. Thank you, Danielle. I've had big movement yesterday. It helps with the thoughts because I know I'm in control. I control them. Good, darling. Good. Oh, thank you, Dylan. I don't see it as a problem, but he has made clear that it's deal breaker for him. No, darling. No. Sorry then you've got a story that he thinks it's a problem. 
Andrea, just understand me as a person who's had age gaps in every single relationship and I've always been the older person. You have a story that they won't want it. Therefore, they say it. Be honest, you've got a story that the younger guy won't want you. Be honest, you're not being honest with me. He'll want children, I can't give him children. He'll want a younger girl. I'll get older and he'll be younger than me. There's some fucking thing going on there that you're not identifying, darling. Andrea, you're not being honest and that's why it's happening. Sorry, it's your story about him. What's your story about what you think he thinks? How's the weather today? I know, Jess, what the fuck? My windows almost blew in. I had to move my car in because it was hailing on the back of my car. The cat and the dog were just freaking out. My SP is still in contact, my BD, baby daddy, and physical, so I feel it's coming in. I see synchronicities. Oh, good, Jessica, good. I need change in many areas. Any advice where to start? We'll start with my self-concept course, darling. It's only $145. It'll uncover all your deep, hidden subconscious thought that's causing all those things in all those areas, okay? Mm. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Please do join me on over on YouTube the next time I premiere a video, but I've already premiered this one today, Manifest manifestation not here this is why this is ready right now for you to watch go over to subconscious laws youtube and watch it you can watch all the other videos in that playlist and make sure to subscribe and put the bell on make sure to follow me here and put the bell on so you know when i'm live you can also come and join the free subconscious laws facebook group and also the squad that's 35 dollars a month and you can get my courses at subconsciouslaws.com check out laws of success stories and past coaching yes guys and also if you go to the free group go now to the album section and you can see all the success stories categorized in albums specific person marriage, engagement, money, house, car. We've got a whole lot of them there. Pregnancy, they're albums and we're slowly building them up. They're, there's hardly any in them, but we're slowly building up the success stories. Or you can just search in the search bar and find the six, kind of success story you want. Oh, I love you lots. Thank you, darling. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.